I just finished watching The Idol, and God, I'm so shfetty. So shfetty. Well, friends, I finished watching The Idol, so you wouldn't necessarily have to. Now I'll give you some pros and cons, and you can decide on your own whether or not you're going to watch this show, the highly controversial number one show in the world, The Idol. I, I don't know if I believe any of those things, but let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Before we get there, appreciate, like, and subscribe. Really uh, helps us grow the channel. I'm the man you may know as Z from Our Views Will Kill You, and I'm going to talk a little bit about this show there will be spoilers, so just be prepared for that. Let's get into it, friends. Let's talk a little bit about The Idol. Is the number one show. Now, this comes from the creator of Euphoria, a show I have never actually watched, starring Zendaya and some other people. No one really knows what it's that show's about. I think it's about young people doing drugs, and that one girl with the real big uh, assets has become pretty famous because of it. Sydney something or other. Sydney Sweeney, gonna say her name is. Anyway, this new show is starring Lily Rose Depp and The Weeknd with his real name. Uh, we'll get into that part of it, but just a, a reminder, Lily Rose Depp is Johnny Depp's daughter so yeah it's a thing if you really wanted to see johnny depp's daughter naked all the time this is the show for you that's positive number one um sleazy is a good term for it I, there's been a lot of controversy and people have been like uh, you know like i feel like i was i was thinking like is some of the some of it manufactured is some of it fake What's really going on here? It's the TV brainchild of Sam Levinson. I think it's actually um, The Weeknd's Grape Fantasy, if you follow what I'm saying. It's real weird. Real weird. Uh, the, the other bright point is Blackpink's Jenny is in it. She's actually really good. She has a very small role, but I like it a lot. So uh, hopefully there's more from her. It premiered at a Cannes Film Festival and people just destroyed it. The critics hate it. Uh, everyone's saying how terrible it is. And it, there's even rumors now coming out where Lily Rose Depp is saying that like when The Weeknd, uh, Abel Tesfaye, was too, he was so intense, so method acting that she had to like steer clear of him. So this is Abel's pitch. <laughs> Uh, this is his pitch. He comes to Sam Levinson and says, oh, if I wanted to start a cult, I could. Because his fans are so loyal and devoted, they would follow him anywhere. And that was the germ of the idea for Idol. What happens when a pop star falls for the wrong guy and no one speaks up? Right. Right. <laughs> so let's just describe this first episode. Let's get through it. The first review we have here is HBO's uh, idol is sexist, gratuitous, exploitative, and achingly boring. Kelly Lawler, USA Today. I can't necessarily disagree with her. So let me set the stage for you. Um, Joss, or Jocelyn, is a washed up, not washed up. She is a pop star who is recovering from a collapse like a mental clap. She's supposed to be some sort of like Britney Spears, Amanda Bynes' type stand-in um, who was super famous, greatest performer in the world, and then kind of had a falling down because her, her apparently her mother passed away. And uh, you, all of this basically takes place in like one or two days, what you see in the first episode. She's surrounded by handlers. She's got a manager played by the guy from The Simpsons, Hank Azaria, who's pretty good. I like, you know, the actors are all pretty good in it. There's this huge cast around her of people that are her handlers and it's a photo shoot and it's the rehearsal, like one of the main rehearsals before she goes out on a live uh, like tour, a big tour. 
And um, every I just kept yelling at the television when things would happen in the show because it was just it would get more and more ridiculous, but not in a good way, like in a in like a, a f just silly way. So essentially, she's doing a photo shoot and she is w wants to be naked in it because but she has a man her management has a nudity rider, so she doesn't want to be naked. And they're talking about all this other stuff. People talk about the first opening scene where she's. There's a photographer and he's like, give me, you know, selfish, give me sad, give me angry, give me playful, give me sexy. You get the same face from the girl every single time until she cries. So, like, I'm not sure, like, Lily R R Rose Depp, a eh, little out of her league in here. She's a little too sleazy and a little too vapid. Like, there's not a lot going on behind the scenes. Like, I wasn't that interested in her. She also has an assisted. So there's a big crisis that happens in the show. The big crisis is that she had a picture leaked of, um, and they have the picture and it's graphic. It's a picture of her um, with uh, some sour cream on her face, you know, from a, a young gentleman who put it there. And it's leaked on the internet and uh, she doesn't know about it while she's, doing this photo shoot about to get ready for her like dance rehearsal because there's a reporter from Vogue who's all going to write something up about how amazing she is. All these people are coming out to see her before she gets ready to go on tour because they don't have a lot of faith in her. The one actor that came into this that just Eli Roth shows up as a representative of Live Nation, the touring the representative of like the touring company that's putting up this tour for her. And uh, why is Eli Roth in this? I just, I don't understand. He shouldn't be anywhere near anything. Plays his usual scumbag character. So, I mean, he's typecast for himself. He's not the greatest horror director in the world. Um, I, I just, I, I liked him a little bit. Just just a, a little bit in Inglorious Bastards. But, so anyway... Um, they're all afraid to tell Joss about the picture that's been leaked because she might have a mental breakdown and all her handlers are afraid. In the meantime, she's like, then she starts doing her rehearsals because they're afraid that she's not going to put on good enough of a show and they're playing the song for her that she doesn't have any confidence in. The song is ridiculous. It's written by... Um, the weekend and she the song's like I'm a freak yeah you could bang me but you don't need to know my name you can pull my hair it's like it's, I mean the song's not terrible but it's just ridiculous and I think what's missing is you, you know when you get the Britney story is is the people who grew up with Britney remember like the innocent Britney from the Britney from the from the Mickey Mouse Club and and like growing up or like Miley Cyrus like growing up before Miley Cyrus decided to be naked all the time and that's the tragic downfall with this character you have nothing you just have her in her vapid state and she's not you they don't show her doing anything she's not on drugs she's not on Xanax she's not on any like they don't show her taking pills they don't show you why she's in this weird mental state she just exists so um they do a rehearsal the stand-in for her who's Jenny from Blackpink who she does a great job she she plays Joss the pop star as in the dance routine they show the dance routine and then she goes and does it and they have this slow motion super over sexualized like super she's like wearing like no clothes I, there is not a scene in this show where I felt <laughs> that Lily Rose Depp had enough clothes on. The girl was practically naked in every single scene. There was not... When they talk about... Like, I don't believe in, like, the male gaze and all that stuff. But if there was... This is a male fantasy, like... Except everybody is disgustingly sweaty. She doesn't even look good because... It, I don't know. They're supposed to be in L.A. in this beautiful mansion. But it's all... Everyone is always disgustingly sweaty. Their makeup is wrong. Her assistant looks like she has so much makeup caked on her face that it's like a pancake. She looks 
ridic everyone in this show looks ridiculous. It's just uh, it's absurd. So eventually she celebrates having a you know she, Joss isn't worried about the 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 the, the picture and they're going to sue people and revenge prawns and all that good stuff. Well, then she goes to a club and she meets um, Tedros, which is the weekend's character. And she says he has a rat tail. He looks ridiculous too. He's got his hair like permed back with a rat tail. Like are it, it, she's like, I've never made out with someone with a rat tail before. He picks her out of the crowd and just starts, like, I want to dance with you, Joss. And then he's, it's, none of it makes any sense. None of it. There's also a scene, which I neglected to mention, where um, the only way apparently she can get off is if she's choking herself. So they have a full, a gratuitous scene of her pleasuring herself while choking herself which is neither sexy nor interesting nor gratuitous enough to even be that interesting. It's not shocking, it's just cringy. Like the whole show is sweaty and cringy and bleh. Um, so anyway, she's at the club, they start making out, they can't have sex because they get caught. Then she invites him over to talk, to, and they're talking about pop songs. And they, she's, he's like, you pop songs are Trojan horses. You can say anything you want in a pop song and people will like it. And, you know, she's talking about how she doesn't like her songs and Prince is, you know, he's like, well, does you think Prince would say that? Cause he wrote pop songs. So fast forward to, he's going to meet her at her house. There's this whole setup of them waiting for each other. Like she's dressed in nothing, like uh, nothing. She's wearing like stockings and a silk like robe and he's dressed like uh, i don't know the whole thing is just disturbingly cringy and gross nobody in this like the the two main actors can't act i don't feel anything authentic coming from the weekend so there's nothing there that makes me think like this guy should be acting other than the fact that he that at one point joss the pop star's assistant says I don't really like this guy. He gives off a real grapey vibe. And then Joss is like, I like that about him. Like, who writes this stuff? What kind of crap is this? So anyway, they they finally get together. They're, they're meeting at her house, and she wants to play the single for him. Her brand new single, because she doesn't have any confidence in it. And he's like, you can't sing because you've never really had sex. How he would know that, I have no idea, because she literally has pictures of her getting skeet 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 it on and i don't see how any of that is gonna do like she clearly knows what something of what she's doing right <laughs> this is so stupid so somehow he miraculously knows that she likes to be choked and asphyxiated so then he takes her, her, her like <laughs> he takes her silk robe wraps it around her head ties it around her neck and she's like choking. And then he cuts a tiny little hole so she could breathe. And he's like, now you can sing. And I was like, I thought you said she had to learn how to have sex first, not be choked. Like this, and that's just episode one, folks. Just, just episode one. And I've been talking about it. Like it's ridiculous. You may want to watch it. If you're, if you want to see something super cringe worthy, like any, you like the cringe and you can enjoy the cringe. You're going to like this. If you want to see like terrible acting and weird accents and just weird stuff happening, and it's it it is definitely boring. I would not call it captivating at all so far. None of it makes any sense. It seems like a vanity project, and all the hype about it being like overly it's just cringy. Cringe. It's cringe to the cringe cringe. So this is me telling you 10 out of 10, baby. You got to watch it. It's 10 out of 10. You're going to love it. I'm just kidding. You'll cringe it. It's 10 out of 10 for cringe. 10 out of 10 for like decent amounts of nudity. 10 out of 10 for terrible dialogue. So if you like all those things, you're going to love this. Tell me what you think. Are you going to watch this based on my lack of recommendation? Did you already watch it? Do you like The Weeknd? Is that guy, like, why is he even famous? Like, he had a couple good songs, but, like, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. And then how do you feel about Lily Rose Depp getting exploited by Hollywood already? 
after he was exploited by Hollywood. <laughs> like, what is going on here? Anyway, thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. Uh, we have a full-length audio podcast you can listen to for free on iTunes, Stitcher, and Spotify. We can also have you catch us live streaming that same podcast here on iTunes, or not on iTunes, so I'm on YouTube. This is YouTube and Rumble. You can catch us there as well. But as for myself, I'm tired of talking about the weekend. I'm going to get to the weekend because I'm on to the next one. Ah.